Good evening friends, I'm Sadat from Sid's Impressions. Um, following up on yesterday's video, uh, I have a few requests on why not talk about the uh, Apple Watch Series 3. Now, um, I'm excited about the product, the Apple Watch Series 3, uh, for a few reasons, but not something that I'm going to purchase. Let me say that out of the bat. I don't find it a product that I need, especially for me. I mean, personally, I do not need that product because I already have a Fitbit and it's working perfectly fine. I don't need a GPS connected or an LTE version, um, you know, smart band because I carry my phone any which ways. Uh, but for those who find carrying your phone a pain in the wrong place, this is something you should consider, especially because it's coming from a company which actually does both the hardware and software. That makes a huge, huge difference in terms of having a device that uh, is able to connect to your same network that your phone is and you not having to carry your phone and still be able to take calls, make calls, uh, use voice notes, send SMS messages, send uh, different kind of emoji messages and uh, you know live notes and stuff like that. that. This one's a device that you should consider because you, you now you have to pay a $10 extra if you were to use your cellular connection on just the watch. So that's something that you have to be uh, you know aware of. Uh, it's not just the device that you purchase, you have to purchase a plan with your telco with your uh, service provider it's going to be an additional ten dollar per month now for some people some people that might be a deal breaker for some people it might be not so bad uh, considering the fact that you don't even have to carry your phone anymore uh, when you go out for runs or for meetings if you phone if you forget your phone you still have a watch that you could take calls from make calls from as well uh, so the fact that you can actually make take calls and use your cellular connection uh, adds so much more flexibility to app developers and so it's going to become so much more important for a lot of apps especially one of the ones that I'm, I'm actually building right now the stories app which is basically a voice based chat um, app where you can actually create uh, public rooms to discuss any topic that you want it could be sports, it could be celebrities, it could be events, whatever you think uh, for apps like that and for apps like messaging apps and, and social network apps now you can actually connect with your friends using just your watch without your phone even uh, you don't have to you already had the facility of using your phone as a cellular uh, provider and, and, and sort of having add-on apps on the watch now apps are going to be made uh, could be made exclusively for the Apple watch where people are thinking okay there are going to be so many million users who are going to buy the Apple watch 3 series series 3 and treat it as the only device they have sort of the app built for that is going to be a humongous change in terms of uh, app developers actually developing an app which is that size, that much in size, and in terms of the resolution, and and having so much more functionality built in because now it can be fed straight. Data is actually going straight to the device, not through your phone. So it's not a companion app anymore that you have to build. You could build something which is meant only for the watch. Uh, that's a game changer for me. If I were an app developer, I could actually see this as a whole new possibility of building apps just for the device. Well, of course, I mean, you have the option of building it for both, but if there's some sort of a scenario, I'm not too sure about what that could be, but there could be some use cases where people could think of, okay, I'm going to build apps only for the Apple Watch and sell it only for that particular store and, uh, you know, ignore the, the phone because the phone's going to be the added device anymore. Uh, moving on. Uh, so that's one huge reason I think the Apple Watch Series 3 is going to be, um, you know, a path breaker. It's not in an innovation in itself. It's not the first phone which has LTE built in. There have been, um, you know, a lot of watches which have cellular built in for probably a couple of years now. But as the trend goes, when Apple builds something, even if it's an older technology and implements it in one of their flagship devices, it becomes a trend for the industry and majority of all the carriers and all the uh, manufacturers of hardware tend to adopt it as a mainstream thing to adopt in their devices and their flagship devices if not all of them so that that to me is a huge um, game changer for Apple and uh, the Apple watch still to me is for me is like a hobby that they have it's not a mainstream device uh, this could be the tipping point where it becomes like a serious device for people to consider uh, it is an expensive watch no question about it but uh, if you're a person who's already a for, uh, can afford a luxury watch this is not at the top end of the luxury section. It can go up there when you customize it with so many different things. But uh, it's a good entry level luxury watch for anyone who's considering a watch with a budget of 250 and above. 
well 250 for the Apple Watch Series 1 and the Series 3 there's no Series 2 anymore well you could find some somewhere else but at least Apple is not going to sell the Apple Watch Series 2 they have only the Series 1 which is starting at $249 and upwards because you can customize it with multiple things and Apple Watch Series 3 which starts at $349 if I'm not wrong uh, or no $329 and $399 for the one, the 329 is the one without LTE, without cellular built in, so it's just like Apple Watch uh, Series 1, just an updated version. And the Apple Watch Series 3 with the LTE built in is 399 plus the $10 a month. So I think it's a good proposition for people who are looking for smartwatches with cellular built in and not having uh, to carry your phone along with you. Good device. Uh, not for me personally, maybe in the next iteration when I have bucket loads of money and I want an Apple device just because it is an Apple device but right now I'm happy with my Fitbit um, yeah so that's my take on the Apple Watch Series 3 thank you for listening and uh, I hope this helps bye bye